folks, today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee. We're gonna head into the Green Old Deal Antique Mall. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do it. it. Today we're gonna to do a little antiquing. We're heading to Green Old Deal. Check out what they have here. It's a really big antique mall. One of the bigger ones in the area. And it's just something we like to do periodically. We kind of reminisce in the past and maybe we'll find something. And one of the things to do here in the Smokies is antique shopping. There is plenty of antique stores. A lot of them located here on 66, right here off the parkway. In fact, there's one across the street just over there. So I absolutely love these old blow molded Santas. Pretty cool. $225. I had one of these growing up too. I even had the little bell. That could even be mine. Who knows? $37. Yeah, a little radio flyer. And they have pretty much everything in here you can imagine. Antiques and even a, a little boutique some pretty cool handmade items and with it being christmas time there's a lot of christmas antiques everywhere you look and that's kind of what i'm here looking today and take a load of this guy he is definitely old and we just got done seeing a great big huge collection of santas up in ohio and uh yeah he's a uh, 450 dollars firm he's a Store display, it says. That is really cool. Yeah, he's he's definitely definitely old. And oh, this reindeer, he's he looks pretty old too. I don't know what that says. Sixty five dollars. Precious lifelike collie dog, hundred and fifty dollars. Firm, and he does look real, doesn't he? Yeah. You'd almost think like he was a stuffed taxidermy for, you know what I mean? That's why I thought at first. Of course, they do have a lot of taxidermy. Could we go buck up there? I love going to antique shops. Oh, wow. Dawn, I think we found the Christmas skunk. <laughs> He's extra fluffy, I think it says. He looks extra fluffy. $350. You got to get the skunk. Put it in the studio. Ooh. And have a holly dolly Christmas. And wherever you look, there are showcases. And they have a lot of really nifty items. I like that pink glass. A lot of different tiaras. And they have Twinkie the Kid. They also have two Snoopies. Huh, that's, that's cool. They have different types of bobbleheads here. I think that's an Alice in Wonderland purse with the blue worm. And see how it zips? It has zippers on top and that. Oh, wow. That's unique. $120. Never seen one like that before. Oh, they also have this one here. Chip and Dale. Chip, Chip and Dale. I'm Chip and he's Dale. And we're a couple of crazy rascals out to have some fun. Do, 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 do. <laughs> My little pony. And they have some He-Man down there. There's Skeletor. $45 for the, the Skeletor. All kinds of little crazy collectibles in here. It's hard to take it all in. And there's so much in this place. Jacob. Jacob. Yeah, $70. I know these are... I see these in a lot of Christmas stores. It's a 1986. Yep, Marley's Ghost. So there's a 1950s bubble blowing monkey, $45. I'm very interested in like these mechanical things, you know, it's kind of cool how, I don't know, made in Japan. Yeah, so they have a Boyd's bear here. He's a 30 inch, you want $95 and he's, he's really in good shape. Who remembers Boyd's bear in Pigeon Forge? Now it's the Margaritaville RV resort. But yeah, I wonder if he was bought there 
in Pigeon Forge. Yeah, here's some Cabbage Patch Kids. A little um, strawberry shortcake, right? And this reminds me of our adventures in England this year. Huh, I don't know what he wants for him. They want $7 for him. Oh my goodness, my mom still has a collection or a set of these these glasses. I remember these Star Trek ones, right? And then, of course, the Return of the Jedi. Yeah, $22. Yeah, there's a Ronald McDonald one there. <laughs> a lot of really cool. Oh, wow, I've never seen this one before. This is a, a Davy Crockett um, mug here. Not sure what it was from. Davy Crockett, Indian fighter, statesman. Pretty, pretty cool. And a Schwinn Jaguar. Wow. Yeah, 600 bucks. Spuds McKenzie, that crazy dog. This says this is a vintage original 1985 We Are the World poster. USA Africa. And you can see old Lionel Richie, or I call Vinyl Richie because. I think that one's Cindy Lauper. Yeah, Cindy Lauper. And you got Michael Jackson over here. Kenny Rogers. But I call him Vinyl because vinyl. the last time he had a hit, it was on Vinyl. <laughs> Just, uh, it's a joke, guys. It's a joke. But actually, very creative. Every one of these. Later. Willie Nelson, yes. Old Willie. Pretty cool. So you were, you have this. I have that at home. It was only $8. You have the exact same one, though. I remember my mom having one of those for many years. You know, these guys here scream the Great Smoky Mountains. They're little hillbilly salt and pepper shakers i don't know if there's many folks out there that collect spoons but they got all kinds and this one here is a greenfield village one from michigan a little little state of michigan in there and here's a bird's eye view of the antique store you see how how big it is yeah, the benton county fair september 28th through october the second I wonder, is that Bentonville, Arkansas? Hmm, not sure. And we visited Jack Daniels Distillery this year. Very interesting, the history. Chocola, chocolate favor flavored beverage, served hot or cold. I've never heard of that before. Uh, could that be Big Ben? It might be. Could be. And these guys are, are funny. So it's a Mr. and Mrs. yet. Oh, it is. <laughs> They're going to go sightseeing. 45 bucks for the pair. Oh, uh, I remember this. This G.I. Joe hover, ho hovercraft. Oh, you remember that? I remember that. And then they would, there's a little thing, I think, it, that sat in the back. A munchichi. A munchichi? A munchichi or something. A munchichi? Yeah. I don't know. He's like... Uh, Eating a banana or something. Something, yeah. Crazy. Oh, wow. These guys here are like aluminum. In Hamleys. Wow, this brings back a lot of memories of of London. Remember Hamleys? We never got to go in there, but it's supposed to be one of the best toy stores around. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. It's a vintage candy dispenser container. $45. So a 1982 World's Sunspear, $89. And just recently they repainted the base blue again to match its its original color. That's that's pretty cool. $89. Bucks. An old Pete Rose card, $15. And the town of Damascus Carnival, $75. I like those old fair advertisements. And down here in the south, you'll see these bundles of sticks and they're, they're tobacco sticks. I used to hang your tobacco from them. A cigarette vending machine. I want $1,500 for it. Paddle pool. Hmm. In 1970s, $120. You got cheese? <laughs> it's an Urkel. Hi, my pet. I wonder if that's a sideshow banner. I know it's newer, but 
they do have you know some sideshows still out there kind of running around with with circuses and stuff doesn't say vintage you'll see this a lot here in the smoky mountains where they take driftwood and they carve faces in it i don't know what they want for this one they want 74 dollars firm I Looks love. like he caught the big one. <laughs> so I think that's a, a bank or something, isn't it? What is that? I, don't know. I think it's just a but he's a little hillbilly. Oh, oh he's got his butt showing. And he's and got his big toe. He's got a sh <laughs> <laughs> And only you can prevent forest fires. Yeah, I got a lot of interesting things. This guy here is a little creepy. I think he might be a I think he's a toothpick holder. I don't know what he is. He's he's big though. He's about the size of my hand. A lot of interesting things. There's an egg down here. It's a vintage hand-painted ostrich egg from it's African folk art. Uh, 30, $38. And we also went to the Bahamas this year. And there's one of their little their little guards. Oh, take a look at this vintage Helen Georgia cup. I'm not sure what year. Can't be too vintage because uh, Helen's actually kind of a newer scenario they want eight dollars for it and visit beautiful rock city and we've been there also lover's leap yeah lookout mountain tennessee and i didn't plan it this way but there's so many little antique uh gifts from some of the places we visited this year of course we went to vermont and we we, we saw a lot of covered bridges and there's a lot of covered bridges in vermont little cup and saucer here twelve dollars for that we've also been to natural bridge and we stayed here don at the natural bridge hotel and that that's a that those are matches yeah and we we stayed there before pretty cool hotel by the way and the great smoky mountains we haven't been to chimney rock yet that's something we gotta we gotta do we're gonna do that in 2024 they also have the natural bridge, which we've been to, but I like looking at all these little tourist um, souvenirs. And if you want to get into the vintage moonshine business, they have plenty of crock jugs to to do, start that business anyways. I absolutely love face jugs. These ones here are really interesting looking. Well, this guy here is really unique. He's got this little, little fez here. Um, eight dollars for the feds. I'm not sure if they what they want for the. Oh wow, right here, um, six hundred dollars for the camel though. He's quite big. He's definitely waist high. We've also been to the Lost Sea in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Here's an old plate from the Great Smoky Mountains. You have a little souvenir from London, and Virginia is for lovers. Oh wow, take a look at these old bulbs here oh, wow. Jimmy will be proud. yeah these these are pretty old my mom still has oh, wow. it's equipped with general electric lamps yep general electric and then take a look at this this vintage vintage santa here 115 dollars oh yeah some more vintage ornaments and the tiny ding dong <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah funny. hey you know yeah it is uh, vintage tablecloth. I have one like this at home. That was my my grandmother's, my great grandmother's actually. Yeah, still have it. Live long and prosper. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. <laughs> Who remembers Sweet Fanny Adams Theater? Here's some garter belts. They want two dollars a piece. Yeah, Brighton garter belts, twenty five cents each. It's a it's like a case, like maybe a. A store display and then they also have a, a beaver over here for seven hundred and fifty dollars and don't say the p word whatever you do don't say the p word what's the p word pepsi <laughs> pepsi pepsi's bad mountain oh, okay. dew mountain dew good though oh wow so this here is an old kodak display for christmas you can see santa up there and looks like he's got a little chain and there's the old the old camera itself up there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, five hundred dollars, and this guy is definitely up to no good whatsoever. He's a cracker jack, um, muskrat. <laughs> I don't know. 
crazy though. Anyways, he's three hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, those disgusting things bring back a lot of memories. Yeah, I collected them. I went through that phase. I remember bugging my dad to take me to 7-Eleven to get me some. And they have a slew of blow molded Christmas. And they have a lot of really cool toys here. There was one back here I remember as a kid. Where was that? Mr. Potato Head. Check out the old Pepsi cups. I've seen this guy before and I always thought it was kind of weird. Teach your kids bartending right I mean technically <laughs> uh, quite quite interesting 50 bucks and here's another mechanical uh, it's a monkey playing a, a guitar and looks like he's doing a little singing oh Dawn I had this dude is, is he he man no he like I think he wrote on a great big bug or something he looks like a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Something. I think that's the dude. I don't know. Maybe yeah, not. The monkey playing the guitar. Right? Yeah, that's what I was just showing everybody. I remember the Jolly Green Giant, but what was the his little boy's name? I don't know if he had a name. Put in the comments below if he had a name. Oh my goodness. This is really cool. Wow. I had something like this, but I think it was for Hot Wheels. But look at the the molding. And they didn't cut, like, you could tell that the molding was really primitive for its day because they didn't, you know, the, the windows are not, you know, the flash hasn't been cut from the windows. And, like, that window there is filled full of flash also. Pretty cool. Yeah, so this here is a weather watch. It's got Mickey Mouse, and I guess if Pluto spins around, it's windy, right? Yeah, it's windy. Hmm. And they even have some Elvis trading cards. And here's another one of those bartenders. His name was Charlie. Charlie Weaver, the bartender. Oh, wow, Don! look. They have He-Man He in the box. And it's got that Dunder Cat. Thunder Cat or something. <laughs> Battle Cat. Boy, they have a lot of Max Headroom. Remember Max Headroom? Yeah. Yeah, he was like your first, like, internet star. Or like your, your first uh, virtual reality dude, right? Is she supposed to be like a talk show host lady? Not sure. I have some more vintage Christmas ornaments. Craftsmen of Europe. Yeah, this here is a mermaid. Usually you see them in an in Indian form or Native American form, but for a, mer a mermaid, $750. And a mountain man, 20 bucks, 50% off. I've heard of the steel cage, but I've never heard of the aquarium. <laughs> you just, you just, here, there's Steve Austin. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I've heard of, but not the aquarium, right? What's this? Very large Lynx, $850. Oh boy, these things bring back memories. You used to write your name with a little pin. And there is a Peanuts Overload. This booth has been here as long as I could ever remember, and they always have tons and tons of Snoopy. And oh wow, there's a Dollywood thimble there. I had that when I was a kid, Don. That Snoopy snow cone machine. Yep. I you, did too. You had the Snoopy one too. Yeah. It's Howdy Duty time. That Freaky Friday poster. I remember that movie. They kind of made different versions of it, but that's cool. And that is like the biggest Frankenstein mask I've ever seen. It's, gosh, at least three foot tall. And they want vintage rare. Um, doesn't have a price on Oh, right there, $700. Oh, yeah, Rhinestone. That was a good movie. Sylvester Stallone, Dolly Parton. 75 bucks. And you know these guys are up to no good. Sons of Santa? Well guys, that's our video for today. It was, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun just taking a look at all this really crazy merchandise. A lot of crazy uh, taxidermy and just, just, there was a lot of new things in there since the last time yeah. we were here. It's been about maybe six, seven, eight months since we were here. And there's, there's quite a bit. But folks, that's going to do it for today. Here in Sevierville, Tennessee, if you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming 
Smoky Mount Adventures. It, the year is winding down, and uh, so are we. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.